Greetings and salutations. In today's episode, we're going to do the next mission. This is part eight of the tutorial, and it's the Kav Mug. I don't know. <laughs> um, here's the mission. The rep a representative from the Klingon Empire has agreed to meet with Morale Paris. <clears throat> Remember, that was the baby that was born on the last episode of Voyager. Anyway, on the Regulus um, for whatever. Lieutenant Paris is believed by some Klingons to be the Karatma, a, a saviour figure. That may or may not be the case, but if it means that Klingons are willing to talk peace with Starfleet, we'll take the opportunity to do so. We need you to oversee security for the meeting. We have intelligence that there are Klingons who are against any sort of treaty and we cannot allow them to disrupt the meeting. Go to the regular system and locate, make sure that uh, the location is safe. Oversee security for peace talks between Starfleet and the Klingon Empire and the Regulus. The Beta Quadrant, we're going to get uh, a cool field stabilizing warp core, which is identical to the one that somehow I acquired. Oh no, it's got a better um, a driver coil. It's 7.5 instead of 5, that, that's good. And a neutrino deflector, which is oh yeah, a bit better than the one I had. So that's good. They're both um, higher marks than the ones I've got currently. And we get some skill points. All right, so that's the primary mission. Let's begin the mission. Just before I do, I'll say that we're in the new ship, which is that little Nova class ship. And it's really good looking. I've set the weapons to auto fire. I've arranged this and we've got this science button here for um, sensor analyst which minus 5% bonus damage and power drain per stack to the foe to allies plus 5% bonus healing on targets to foe 50% reduction of all incoming heals when debuffs reach 6% disabled cloaking while active and we're missing a science um, station because I messed up and picked um, tactical instead of science, so I can't swap a si an extra science person in. I uh, could have probably on bought bought a science officer on Starfleet Academy or something. I think, whoops, but we'll see. I don't know. I might win one soon anyway. I think um, level eleven, you get one, so um, that should be fine. Um, just be one mission where I'm missing one of my uh, bridge officer's abilities, and also I've got tractor beam here but I'd prefer something like um, Tachyon Beam, but oh well, it doesn't matter. That still helps um, you kill them, so let's begin. Loading, 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 oh hi. Loading regular system. It's a nice looking ship, like a little baby Voyager was actually a prototype draw, draft drawing of Voyager that we're going to give them a smaller ship. Okay, Captain Sensors indicate several groups of Orion Syndicate ships patrolling the nearby communication satellite ahead of us. Defeat all Orion ships and open communications with Regulus. Okay. I might just fix up my power levels so that it's Half to shields and half to weapons. Don't really need the other things that much. Don't have many science abilities on this ship yet. Only one. And doesn't look like we're going to get there quickly. Maximum impulse for a second. Out of maximum impulse. Fire! And I've swapped this for beam overload. Which is good since it looks like I'm doing one bad guy at a time. And I've got these four buttons. Which are attack auxiliary subsystems. Engine subsystems. Shield subsystems, weapon subsystems. Not broadsiding in properly. All right, tractor beam, which is similar to the grappler. Oh, a sensor scan. Gotcha. Mm. 
maximum of full impulse. Targeted weapons subsystems, weapons battery, grappler. Slow down to quarter impulse. Gotcha. Science team. Beam overload. Watch what happens. Beam overload is good. Kills people quickly. Let's head towards the other ship. Evasive maneuvers. Didn't leave anything behind, did we? No. Nope. Beam overload. Beam batteries. Oops, that was the last one. Sensor scan. Shields. Science team. Engineering team. Tractor beam. Holds them there so you can keep shooting without missing at all. Take item. Energy, industrial energy cells. Okay, now what are we supposed to do? Beam to Regulus. Oh, okay, Captain, I've made contact with Lieutenant Paris on the surface. She's a Starfleet liaison for the peace conference on screen. This is Lieutenant Meryl Paris requesting immediate assistance. Klingons and Orions have beamed in and taken hostages. Oh, cool, she actually spoke. We've got dialogue in this mission. That's awesome. Okay, we're ready to beam down. Give me a status report. I only just barely escaped myself. Beam down to my coordinates. This area should be safe for now. Okay. Beam down. I'm just going to turn my volume up a bit more again. All right, that's my ray team. That's all I've got for now. Okay, here we are. There she is. Um, walk up to her. Hello. I can already see that my computer's losing frames now. Talk to Paris. I'm ready to assist you. I'd like to ask some questions about yourself. We don't have time right now. Once we get these bombs disarmed, I will answer any questions you might have. Deal? Okay, fair enough. But I'm just going to see what I can do to make the computer run a bit better. Okay, that's better. Alright. I'm ready to assist you. What's the situation, Lieutenant? You're here just in time. A group of Klingon operatives is attempting to sabotage the peace conference. They're planting explosive charges throughout the grounds, and they have Orion Syndicate forces as backup. There are Federation security forces here on Regulus 4, but they're outnumbered and outgunned. All right, we need to get the ambassadors to safety. We can't free the diplomatic team from the embassy until the grounds are secure. Stopping the Klingons and deactivating those explosives are our top priorities. Only then can we get into the embassy. Fair enough, continue. I'm ready to assist you. Okay, well look, accolade complete Delta Quadrant Descendant. That's what she is after all. Um, I just want to change, I don't need the fire suppression anymore, but I don't actually have anything else to give myself. Alright, I do have a pet. All right, we can see this bad guys on the minimap, we can see them over there. Let's go to them and kill them.
probably didn't need to use that then. Oh look, there's somebody over here. Heal colonist. I'm dying. Am I dying? Hmm, okay. Diffuse Klingon spiritual charges. Oh, there's a little spot where I'm supposed to go, but uh, let's just deal with these people first. That was a bit silly. Okay, he's dead. Um, go over there. You can see on the mini map where to go. Look, if you crouch when you're running, it does that barrel roll. It's pretty cool. I think it gives you some sort of defensive bonus, or it does it later on, at least anyway. I don't know. Okay. That guy's over here, hello. Reroute power to shields. Oh, I could have used this. Take item. Strategic kit battle strategies. That's for in um, tactical officers though, so I can't actually use it. And we just got something that could have been good, but it wasn't. Engineer disarm spiritual charges. That's it. Okay. On the mini map, we can see there's another one over there. So I don't know if we can run over this hill or no. Can't run through bushes for some reason, even though in real life you usually can. Um, hello, bad guys. Are they running towards me? Lucky I did the mines, although the mines didn't come up. What happened there? Take item. No, I got some food. Some more spiritual charges. Engineer, spiritual charges. Disarming. I think there's a little mini game you have to play if you're not an engineer on this mission, by the way. And more bad guys somewhere over here. On the mini map. Running slowly, hurry up. There's a person over there. Another one over here. Ooh. Oh, look, an Orion girl. What's going on here? Sorry. I got those people. Heal colonist. Oh, she got up this one. I think there was someone over here. What are you doing? Nothing? Just standing there being scared? Okay. What are these people doing? Alright, there's more over there, but it looks like that's hard to get to. One over there. On the mini map, we can see a uh, yellow green circle, I mean, over there. Doo -doo. Okay, hello, Klingons. Oops. Warrior Spirit, accolade. Take item, engineer disarm spiritual charges. And take item, you can press F on your keyboard, which is what I just did. Maybe now's a good time to check the inventory. And see, oh look, I could give myself some of that shield battery. Move it into an appropriate spot on my tray. Um, I can give her some food. 
Oh look, it's a Mark III phaser. 66 DPS. So I'll give that to Elisa. Um, I've got a Mark II versus a Mark I there. Uh, same, only this one's slightly more powerful. Okay, just upgrading weapons. Yep, okay. Uh, no, okay, well, I'll just leave it like that then. I won't discard it in case I need it for the next bridge officer I'm about to get. Oh, what's going on? There's bad guys over there on the minimap, but, and then over there, but mm, there's boulders and stuff in the way. Looks like there's bad guys over there, but I don't know if there's any spiritual charges over there, so I think I'm wasting my time right now. Brute's hard to kill. Take item. Is there something over here? No. There's two anomalies in the area. Something over there. Oh, there's a person. It hurts. But that's not part of the mission. Checking what's over here because I feel like it. Nothing. Okay. Let's go towards the green arrow and green circle. I did get some plasma weapon. Is that good? Nah, don't need it. I'll just leave it there for now. Okay, let's jump over obstacles. And see some Klingons over there. With the spiritual charges. Loot dropped. Engineer disarm spiritual charges. Otherwise, you'd have to do the cut wire again, which is a bit annoying. Luckily, I don't have to. Talk to Paris, Morel Paris. Uh, what is our Kuvama? There is an ancient Klingon religious text that says the Kuvama, our savior, will lead the Klingon Empire back to glory. There are a lot of prophecies about the Kuvama. Some say the Klingons will know him or her before the Kuva Ma knows the world, and that the Kuva Ma is stronger than sickness. How did they come to believe it was you? Before I was born, Voyager encountered a group of Klingon pilgrims looking for the Kuva Ma. They were dying, and the doctor used my genetic material to create a cure for them. To some Klingons, that proves I'm the savior they seek. Oh, I see, okay. I'm ready to assist you. Um, do you want to lead the Klingon Empire to glory? All I want is to be a good Starfleet officer. For every Klingon who wants to worship me, there's another who wants to kill me. It makes it hard to have anything resembling a normal life. I see. Must be tough. I'm part Klingon, and I've never hidden that. But I'm part human, too. All I've ever wanted is for the species I come from to be in harmony. If I could find some way to reconcile the Klingons and the Federation, then I'll believe that the stories might be true. Until then, it's a case of mistaken identity. Okay. I'm ready to assist you. Is it true you were from the Delta Quadrant? Not exactly. My parents, Tom Paris and Bellana Torres, were on the USS Voyager, which was lost in the Delta Quadrant for seven years. During its journey home, they married. I was born as Voyager reached Earth. I consider myself a child of the Alpha and the Delta Quadrants. Cool. I'm ready to assist you. Why were you assigned to the Peace Conference? Ambassador Koss of the Klingon Empire requested my presence at the Peace Conference. Starfleet thought that it would be a good idea, so I was temporarily reassigned to Regulus IV. I'm no diplomat. My day job is Chief of Security on the USS Kirk. Honestly, I'd rather be back on my ship. But if being here helps the Federation and the Klingons find a peaceful resolution to the problems, 
I'm happy to help. Cool. I'm ready to assist you. What do you recommend we do now? My tricorder shows no more spatial charges in the surrounding area. I'll stay here and help with the relief efforts. Oh, what's next? Just before you beam down, the leader of the Klingons, Captain Tukirk, entered the embassy and took the Federation diplomatic team hostage. He says he is waiting for a worthy adversary. Think you're up to the task? Enter the embassy and rescue the Federation diplomats. Okay. I'm ready to assist you. See you then. Yeah, now we can see another red, green, I mean, <laughs> circle on the mini map over there. We can see that something's lit up. That... Let's walk over here. Enter the embassy. Alright, off we go. Save some diplomats. Now, that was very interesting, getting to talk to Muriel Paris. I don't remember the audio uh, voice acting being in, in the past, so it looks like maybe they add, added that recently. Um, yeah, I think she's in later missions and you get to talk to her again in the, um, you know. So, and Tom Paris is in the game later on as well. All right, so the ship scanners indicate four Federation diplomats inside. They appear to be guarded by numerous Klingons. Defeat Klingon guards and beam Federation diplomats to safety. All right. It's already some in range. Whoops, wrong button. Damn it. Okay, so a bit of a maze here. Oh, someone just ate something. Can I go through there? No. Nope. About this door. Nope, doors are not opening for me. What's going on? This one's got the green thing on it. Oh, this door opens. Oh, Klingons, watch out. Now look, there's some person standing over there. Hello, Federation diplomat. I knew the Federation wouldn't let this happen to us. Is anybody else in here? What's my tricorder say? Two anomalies over there through that wall. Okay. Right, I can see some arrows on the mini map. Let's follow that. Mm, door open this time. Anything in here? Nope. Oh, look, Klingons. Hello. Bad guys. Uh oh. Oh, look, Targs. Oh. And there's some stuff over here. What's this? Open locker. Oh, what do they get? Some food and a hypo. There's another one over here. Open locker. Hypo and power cell. Hello, diplomat dude. Many thanks, Lieutenant Commander. Anything else? I can see some. Oh, there's more people. Oh, bad guy. Bagging them again. Oh, loot. Oh, that looks like a good rifle. I want to check my inventory before we fight more people because we've probably just got some stuff to upgrade. Alright, beamed her off. Here's some titanium ore. Alright, now that minimap's telling us to go the other direction, let's just check the inventory. Press U, I mean. I am on the keyboard. 
and this weapon looks better than the one I've got, but the DPS is lower. But it's a um, higher rarity. Um, let's just try it anyway. Alright, go back. Uh, no, yep. Yeah, uh, anything I can add in there? Yeah, I can add that, that to that. Or did that not work? No, that didn't work. Okay, anyway. Um, yep, yeah, there. Okay. Um, any of these better than what you've got? 66 DPS, she's got already. No! But they're better in rarities, that's all. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. 63, 63, 63.5. Okay. 63.6. 61. I wish the best. That one. All right. On with the mission. Now I've got a big rifle thing. Goes on my back. Zoom in a bit. Okay, we can see on the mini map. Whoa, was there bad guys? Or did I just trip out? Okay, just tripped out. This way on the mini map. that button too late. I was trying to do it earlier. Yep, quickly got to shoot the other people because I used one of those batteries and I don't want to waste it. Hmm, the lag on these buttons. This is like the boss for the level probably. I'm a bit too close to him, he's trying to attack me. I think he got hurt by one of my mines then, so there you go. Uh, look, there's something over here. Open locker. Two small shield charges. Anything there? No. I saw a diplomat over here. What are you doing? Many thanks, Lieutenant. Oh, look, there's some stuff over there. Go away. I'm busy. More of that ore. Alright. At least I didn't miss out on some loot. Beam me up. Um, Captain sensors indicate several Klingon ships in the area. There also may be additional ships cloaked in the area. This could be a full-scale invasion fleet, sir. Transporters are standing by from by your command. Return to ship and defeat Klingons. Those Klingon bastards. They killed my son. on bastard. Ah, Captain 7 of 2016 Klingon ships are decloaking and locking weapons. Oh no! Um, shields, I'm targeting their shields. Whoops, I don't think I needed that yet. Oh, well. Sensor scan. Uh, whoops, I thought I was turning and I wasn't. It's embarrassing. Great. 
grapple. Okay, there's some more over there. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. Full impulse. Shield battery, science team, engineers. Sensor scan. Try to broadside them if you're using beams. Distribute shield power. Rotate shield frequency. So we've been hailed by the Klingon ship, transferring to main viewer screen now. You fight well, Lieutenant Commander. Not as well as the Klingon, we have no equals in battle. I am Ambassador Cass of the Klingon Empire, wishing to meet with the Kuvama on Ro Regulus. However, another of my Empire's ambassadors, B. Vet, leads a noble house that is the enemy of my family, Bivet, that has used this opportunity to plot my death. He is behind the attack on the diplomats and he will pay for his dishonorable dis treachery with blood. Bivet travels here from Kronos, his flagship, in his flagship. He will be here any second, Lieutenant Commander, and we'll fight him together. Kapla! Kapla! Help Ambassador Cass defeat the flagship that's about to come and take your loot. Warning, <clears throat> Warning. ship is under attack. Ooh, battery shields. Shield battery. Okay, rotate shield frequency and engineering team. Sensor analyst. Tractor beam. Get you with my tractor beam. Broadsiding science team. Oh, look, there's more. Ah, oh, that's where he is up there. Open B that. Basic maneuvers. Shoot. I forgot to do batteries. I kind of put on there that battery. Did I get it? Or is it cloaked? What happened? Is it over? Am I supposed to go up to him? It seems we have won this time, Lieutenant Commander. But there will be no peace between the Klingon Empire and your Federation. So who is the real victor here? Our fight is just beginning, Lieutenant Commander. I look forward to our next meeting. Accolade, nuanced negotiator, nuanced. Um, it appears B that, that has fled, Captain. At least we were able to unravel his plot and save Lieutenant Paris. She is apparently more important to the Klingon Empire than she realizes. Kill, cool. all right, depart system. Why is that thing still there? <laughs> Okay. So that seems to be it for the mission. That was pretty good. Oh, we've got
got sp skill points to spend, but we've got to hail Starfleet first. So hail Starfleet. Hey, Admiral Quinn. Let's close that box. All right. Lieutenant Paris is um, blah, blah, blah. Difficult situation. She does the best she can. I'm glad you were there to help. All right. Collect rewards. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Ooh, thank you. Thanks, Bok. Hello. Oh, look, this guy's hailed me. Um, I've heard your recent accomplishments and would like to congratulate you. You're exactly the sort of Captain Starfleet needs as an example for young officers here at the Academy. Please join me here on Earth to discuss some promising new officers. Speak with this guy on Lieutenant... Um, I mean on Starfleet Academy. Uh, do I have to do this? We probably should do this. I look forward to speaking with you in person. So it looks like that's what I have to do. do oh no, wait, there's uh, that's the next mission. If we have a look here, it says first compliment. Oh, that's the one where you have to go to Earth to get it, okay? But there's a new officer, Hail Starfleet. Okay, so who will be joining my crew? As we know, I need a science officer. So I've got a teller right there. Okay, collect rewards. But I can't use him yet because I've got too many of them already and it didn't give me an extra slot. So I have to get rid of somebody. So if we look on stations, I'm using Elisa, not Coles. So I'm going to get rid of Coles. But I need to first, before I get rid of him, take all the stuff off him so I don't lose it because if you get rid of someone with the things on them, you lose them. Alright, discharge. I have to type in his name. Coles. Okay, goodbye. Now we go to stations and we go show and click on the science one we want and we commission. Join bro. Thank you. All right, now if we go to stations here, we can see it's almost done it for us. Yay, okay. And his only ability is science team. So we'll change to Rails. So she's using Tachyon Beam. All right. I need to change that, but I've got to get this thing um, and then we'll put him there too. All right, and if we go to him now, he can have the loot. I uh, don't know which weapon's best. 51, 51, this is 53. Okay, um, that shield and that personal armor. Was the other one three? The other one's three. Okay. Yeah, mark three. Give him that. All right. I'll throw away that other stuff later. But that solved my problem here. Now I've got the extra button down there. Go to Earth Space Dock. We can transport places. Soul system. I know where this guy is on um, Earth Space Dock, so I'll just quickly show you how to do that. Hopefully it doesn't log me out from lag at Earth um, Soul System. It does that sometimes. For me, because my internet's crap, because I'm far away from the servers. Thousands of miles. Thousands of Kali cams. Loading soul system, very slow, this system. Look how long it's taking. Please don't disconnect. Hurry up, fast computer. Why is it taking so long? Loading, loading, loading. I've still got to spend my skill points. <sighs> Lag. It hasn't finished loading. I have reported a trouble ticket with the developers about the terrible lag for their game at the moment. I seem to be the only person suffering it though. Alright, being to Starfleet Academy, there's a button there, bottom right hand corner. And look how laggy it is, the buttons don't even work. 
I wish people would stop hanging out here and stop making it laggy. This is... Oh, I won't be surprised if it just logs me out. Come on, do what I'm asking. Yes, beam down already. Just do it. Look, doesn't get my... Anything I send to it doesn't happen. Oh my god, I knew it was going to do that. It's so dumb. Hopefully go straight to Starfleet Academy this time instead of stupid soul system. They should disable people's powers there. They should make it so it's not laggy. I wouldn't be surprised if this just logs out. Oh no, it looks like it's going to get in. Sometimes it times out when I try to log in to characters. Mind you, nobody else is using my internet. I have a dedicated ADSL2 line right now. Loading Starfleet Academy, that's good. It's bypassing lag system. I should rename Soul System to Lag System. It's still taking forever. Okay, here we go. Didn't beam me down anywhere close to where I want to be. Whoa. Sorry, my chair fell down. Rating still acting laggy. Can I have something here that's disappeared? Oh, hurry up. Oh, okay. No, I don't want to talk to him. It's over there. You can see, whoops, on the mini map there's a white thing. Oh my god, why is it lagging here? This is ridiculous. Come on, what is it? Oh my god. What the? This is just ridiculous. Normally I can do ground just fine, even when there's other people around. Oh, come on. Come off it. Uh, look how slow it's going. I thought he was there. He was there in the um, training thing. There he is. Lieutenant Farah. Okay, so he's going to give me this stuff. Your initial complement of duty officers is now available. Oh, look at all those duty officers. Oh, I got one that was rare. Astrometric scientist. And security officer. Okay, continue. Thank you. And you can buy some. He's got a store as well. Um, oh, that's a lot. I think you can even get... Come on. Yeah, you can get more information there. There's more things you can do. Anyway, we'll get back to that in a second. I better spend some more skill points. So, let's see. Weapons training. Put that to maximum. Okay. Um... Energy weapons, Starship energy weapons. One of them, structural integrity, yep. Okay, that's for, good for now. All right, so we've spent school points. Now, a new section of the game has unlocked and that is the duty officer system. And now we can do, <gasps> yay, we can do these um, duty officer assignments whatever people want to call them, some funny names people call them. Um, anyway, so you just click like that, you go plan, begin assignment on the ones that don't have the red bits on them, the ones that you actually got enough duty officers to do, and then after like four, you know, however many hours it says, it'll give you stuff, so you win things. So, like this one here, it says I'm gonna get some dilithium, you get, usually get at least five dilithium for every single one, a little bit of energy credits and some skill points and stuff. Though you, you could actually level all the way up on the game just from playing this. <laughs> Although it would take ages, but it is still actually possible. So be careful because you can get promoted to the next level by using your duty officer system. Now you'll find in the future that the Admiralty and the R&D system, first actually it will be the R&D system at level 15 as it says there. But the Admiralty at level 52. Okay. Now there is also this roster system. And you can activate duty officers. Having um, good duty officers activated for both ground and space helps your gameplay. Um, you get five, but you can buy an extra slot through um, Fleet Spire later on anyway. 
So now I need to choose Active Space 5 officers that are going to help with my actual space abilities. Let's have a look here. So none of these people are um, rare or anything like that. So let's have a look. What have we got? Mm, sensor scan, deflector, abilities, recharge time on that. Okay, re recharge on torpedoes, chance to recharge subspit system targeting attacks. We do use that. Um, chance to reduce time to recharge. Okay, yeah, that's the same thing as that one. Uh, okay. Put on active duty because we do use at the moment we're using that with the ship that we've got but we'll have to change it later um I'm not using torpedoes don't uh deflector abilities um are we yeah we're doing we've got some science officers any their abilities are deflector abilities so that will reduce the recharge time on that um damage with sensor scan oh cool so this will debuff targets offensive damage with sensor scan we've got that i think so but um there's uh we might as well just put this person in too if it fits yeah, it does. Okay, that's all I can do. There's no point slotting a torpedo person when you don't use torpedoes, as I do not use torpedoes. Okay, so I've only got four active space at the moment, but you will get more duty officers um, through various ways. They'll, you know, you'll collect more in the future. Okay, so we've only got two people. So one says reduce recharge time for combat supply. We're not using that right now. I mean, we don't have anything, but we might as well put them on duty. Chance to beam down additional medical support with hyper. Um, neither of those are actually going to help me, but I'll just put them on and then I'll put them off later. I don't know. Why not? Um, obviously, I'm going to have to show you more about this later. You can look, there's a button there, request more. You can buy some with money. You can get a Delta Alliance duty officer pack. I have purchased that in the past. Um, duty officer roster slots. You can add more roster slots. There's a federation of um, duty officer pack as well and that'll give you more rare duty officers and stuff so that's um, something you can do if you want to boost yourself right now and you want to spend a little bit of money on the game put 10 bucks in it and buy all those things and that would help a little bit yeah and then there's also you go to personal depart I mean department heads and you click on each of the um, things there you can also change who is the department head for what see like we've got um, the same person now I've changed that okay so is there anything in here we can do? Quickly scroll down, look for things that don't have red on it, but because we don't, we just started, we don't have many of them, we can't do many things. Oh, whoops. I see a lag on my game just even here, it's terrible. Okay, send a representative to a security briefing for the Alburn sector. And that only let me do one of those. That was a tactical operations. Nope, nothing. Medical. Nothing. Security. Nothing. Okay. Now there is something else you can do here. There's a little mini game. You can earn some extra. Why is my computer running slow? I just have to turn the graphics down again. Hmm. <laughs> must be a memory leak because the longer I play it at high at settings it basically crapped out okay so history 101 alpha quadrant accept that and alpha quadrant midterm accept that you can get some dilithium for that one all right so first you click these data chips you go there you go access library computer blah 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 data chip continue you got a data chip resolve mission you got some skill points and then there's a chip down there. And now I've got an accolade for that. Yay. So don't know really what that does. But anyway, go, walk over here. It says Tessie Knowledge. Click on one of these. It's going to ask you a question about the history between of Star Trek, but up to this, when this game starts in 2410. Um, so there is like a, <clears throat> like a book you can read and uh, dot point information on the internet about what happens, what gets the Starfleet, and what happens in the game before the game happens, sort of thing, you know, like the history of st canon Star Trek between, you know, what we've seen on TV and the movies and up to the game. <clears throat> and the questions will usually be about that, anyway. So what races rebuilt the monastery on PJAM? I think it's the last one. I guessed correctly. Now that was they told us the answer to that in a couple of missions ago, remember? All right. 
and go down there, I get some dilithium. <coughs> so that's good. I've got the dilithium. Oh, what else can I do? I can upgrade my ship a bit. So as you can see, I've got a better warp core. Yep. And I've got a better one of those deflectors. So I'll equip the both of those. All right, that's done. I've got some stuff I can give my fleet. I'll show you the fleet that I joined. I forgot to show you that. The last episode It's called the Borg Brigade. And what you do is you click on your, um, you go to your holdings and you, and you give them stuff, right? See if there's anything I can actually give. I don't want to give away my duty officers yet because I don't have enough of them yet. Um, I think there was a way to get more duty officers here too. I forgot about that to show you. I mean, I know there is, but I forgot to show you. I'll show you that in a second. Got to show you everything that's around here. Okay, so nothing really unless I go get more duty officers. So I don't know if I'll be able to because I tried to do all those DOF missions. Um, so you, do you talk to this person or is it the other one on the other side? How can I either... Uh, yeah, it's the other person on the other side. So you walk over here and there's someone else to talk to. Maybe only one of them works. Uh, I thought there was two people here. Okay. No, th there is some duty assignments you can do around here to get more duty officers. Oh, okay, here. Talk to personnel officer. Right, that's what you do. Submit request for personnel. Now the, the general recruitment one. Come on. It costs a thousand dilithium. And even if I have that, I don't know if it's really a good idea to do it. Um... There is one that's worth a thousand dollar, a thousand. This one here, the other second one, uh, request R and D assistance. This is a good one, and it costs a thousand dollar lithium. But it, I prefer it because you get. Um, I like doing crafting, so this will help crafting. Why not waste a thousand dollar lithium? Yep, there you go. I've just done that one. Now these other ones here in the middle, engineer officers, science officer, and civil court recruitments. They're all free. They don't cost any dial lithium. So you just click on it. It brings up this assignment. You do that, and you, it's a uh, duration 48 hours, and I don't know, I think maybe you have, so you can only do it every two days or something. Science officers begin assignment, and this will award me heaps more duty officers, which will fill up my my ship with people, and then I'll be able to do more of the uh, duty officer assignments in the future because I'll have more people to do that, and I'll be able to do more R&D crafting in the future as well, and I'll have more people to put in my roster slots. And stuff you can also um, it'll, you'll end up collecting lots of p prisoners in your brig and um, civilian passengers as well people get sick and go in the sick bay so it's your ship and there's an overview button here and you can see what's going to happen in the future you can see how you can build up your rank with the commendation system with the R&D school and campaign system which is the Admiralty system yeah, so and uh, shows you, you know, like your slots and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's pretty good. Duty officer system. I use it every day. Some people don't like to use it, but I think you're really um, holding yourself back in the game if you don't use the this duty officer system, to be honest. And the IMT system and the R&D system, the, as far as I'm concerned, the rewards that you get from using these systems are essential to playing the game. An essential part of playing the game okay all right well that concludes my tutorial video run through of that mission that we did what was it called again oh, Kuva Ma that's right um, so hope you enjoyed the video oh, I think I've got your where is it yeah the next one will be treasure trading station stay tuned for the next one live long and prosper see you later